Atokona te rangi e tū nei, whakatika tika te tua rānu i opai a kurua tipua kurua tahi toka tokona e tāne ko toko maru ngā rangi hiki tia rangi hapa e ngā e tū, ko te rangi e tū nei, me te papa e tā koto nei, tū mau mai te rā e tū nei, i atama i wahu i atama o ko tahi i te putanga atama i te rangi tā more more nui i te putanga atama i te rangi tū ha ha heke i hui a rangi e tū nei. Fiti fiti no ku fiti fiti rangi fiti fiti papa fiti fiti tau tu te mahura nui tu te mahura roa tu te mahura nui a te tu nei a tāwhia kia re hua kia tamai waho hau i e hui e tāi ki e A ka mihi ka tika kia rangi nui e tu i honei kia papa tu anu ku e tako toa ke nei Nā tā raua piritahitanga ka puta mai ai ku te whai au ku te au mārama Ka tahuri atu rāo ku whakāro ki a rātau, rātau mai ngā tini aitua, rātau te hunga wairua, kwa hau hia ake nei, e te kupenga a tara mai nuku. Koutau e ngā mate, i runga i a mātau o ngā itua huriri, tai rawa atu rā, ki te pātako rā kai houtu. E hea ki e nei ngā tangatau kua hinga i tēnei o ngā tau. Nō reira koutou kua karanga hia e tahu kūmea e tahu whakairo. Koutou e oku paua e oku taua. Haere, haere, whakangaro atu rā. Hoki ora mai rā ki a tātou te aitanga atiki. Tātou kua kara pinepine mai nei i raru i te tuanui o tō tātou nei whare. Koutou ngā kai mahi, koutou ngā kai tautoko o ti rā koutou te kauni hera hou. Tai rau atu rā ki tō koutou kai houtu hau Me te koro matua Kua hoki mai koutou katoa Kua rau ika mai nei i raru i te tuanui o tō tātou nei whare A tēnā koutou katoa A tēnei rā e tuake nei Hei māngai mo te hau kāinga Kā mutu o te kāhui kahukura Kua whakeke mai nei i tēnei o ngā rangi A nei rā mātou ngā hika ngā hau kāinga O tēnei o ngā takiwa, ka mutu kwa hui katoa mai nei, tātou katoa i tēnei rangi ki te whakamiha atu rā ki a koutou. Ka mutu, he wero, he take tā mātou. I ngā tau e heke mai ana, me whai rau taki tātou ki te whakatika i ngā wai. Ko oku wai e kaunuku atu rā ki te tai o māhu nui. I ngā tau, Tata nei, kwa piki te ora o ngā wai, he oi, he nui tonu ngā mahi kei moi a tātou. Me te tumana ko ia, he pātaka kai, he mahinga kai, e nei o ngā wai. Ka hoki atu rā, ki te wā o nehe, ki te wā o oku tīpuna, i hui mai mātou katoa, ki ngā koa wāwa nei, ki te kohi, i ngā aika, i ngā manu, i ngā kai maha te Māori. Engari e nei rangi nei te tae e au, te uru atu ki oku wai ki te hopu i te tūna, ki te kohi i ngā pātiki, i runga anō i te paru. Nō reira, ko tētahi o ngā whāenga o te kāhui kahukura, kia whai rautaki tātou ki te whakapiki i ngā oranga o tātou nei awa, roto, kamutu o tātou nei wai katoa. Wai hoki, E hea kia nei ngā tau kua pahure mai i te haingatanga o te tiriti o waitangi. Me toku mōhio, he uaua tonu te mahitahi. Nō reira koira nei te take kua whakarite mai tēnei o ngā kāhui kia mahitahi ki te taha o te kaunihira. I runga anō i tā rātou nei hononga kā mutu ko te tuapapo o tēnei o ngā hononga ko te tiriti o waitangi. E mea ana ngā kōrero o taku tīpuna a matiaha tira morehu, ko te kiri mā me te kiri wai tutu, pōkai a nei ki te tiriti o wai tangi. Hei ture atua ki te ngākau. Nō reira, ko tāku nei ki au koutou, a ka mutu he waha noi ho tēnei, mō tēnei o ngā kāhui. Hioi, ko tāku nei ki au koutou, me whai rautaki tātou ki a mahitahi tātou. Pai hoki te mahitahi a kāwana nei, hioi, ko tai te wā ki a mahitahi tātou katoa. Kāwana mai, rangatira mai, taurekareka mai. 
Nō reira, me whai rautaki tātou kia whakatutuki ai i tērā o ngā kōrero a matiaha. Ka mutu, e, e miharo ana tēnei ki te kite atu a, i ngā tai o kahu kura mea ki, kei wāinga nui a koutou a te kauni hera hou. He tino tikanga tērā nō roto i mai i a mātou o ngai tua huriri, kia kahu kura te tū. Ka mutu, e hikaka ana kia whai a, ara tātou a, ki te anga whakamua, ki te koke whakamua, hei oranga mō tātou katoa. A, e mihi ana hoki ki a koe, James, tēnei rā hoki o whanaunga, e mihi kaua tunei ki a koe, a, e harikoa ana mātou ki te kite i tētahi kanohi ngaitahu i ronga i te kaunihira. Hioi, me pēnei pea ku kōrero, ka riro mā koutou katoa o mātou nei wawata a, te hiki ake. Ka oe wai homa te tangata ngaitahu te whakakōkiri i enei o ngā kaupapa. A, wai hoki, Ahakoa uh, i whakai te tai rāwhiti me ki o te taone uh, kia tūai koe hei māngai, he mahi anō tā mātou uh, māhau. Nō reira, uh, a tōna wā ka pūrangi aho e rā o ngā kōrero. Ahakoa kei roto tātou i te pū, poka pū me ki o ōtautahi i tēnei wā tonu, ka oe wareware kei roto hoki te pātako rā kai hautu uh, i tō koutou nei takiwā. Nō reira, ahakoa, e tuake tēnei hei māngai mō ngai tua huriri, e tuake ana hoki tēnei hei māngai mō ngā papatipu runanga katoa kua rau i kamai nei. Mai koukou rarata, peka atu rā ki rāpaki, haere tonu rā i te pai o kahukura, ka tai atu rā ki wairewa, ka titiro atu rā ki tērā atu taha o kaitoarite, ko taumutu tērā, a ka piki ake rā, a, i atuhi raki, ka titiro atu rā a, ki onuku. Ka mutu, anei rā mātou, uh, ngā rangatira, ngā heamana o tēnā rūnganga, o tēnā rūnganga, e mihi kau atu nei ki a koutou. Kā reo e tōru e ngā kōrero, hioi e mihi ana rā ki a koutou, koutou ngā kanohi hou, koutou ngā kanohi kua huki mai, tēnei mātou e whakamiha atu rā uh, ki a koutou katoa. Ka mutu, e tika ana ki a mihi a o koutou nei kai tautoko. Me taku mōhio, He utu nui kei te haere mā rātou, i, a, i runga anō i tā rātou nei tuku i a koutou ki a whakakiki mai i enei o ngā tūranga. Hui atu hui mai ko koutou rā tērā e tai atu ana hei māngai mo te kaunihera, ka mutu ko whānau nei, a, ko hoa rangatira a te tuapapo e rā o ngā mahi. Nō reira, e mihi ana rā ki a koutou, ngā kai i tautoko, Kua whakaae mai ki te tuku mai i o koutou nei uh, whanaunga, i o koutou nei hoa rangatira, uh, i o koutou nei pāpa, māma, uh, hei, hei rangatira mo tēnei o ngā taone. A, ka tahuri atu rā ki a koutou, ngā kai mahi, koutou kua hara mai ki te tautoku i tēnei o ngā kaupapa whakahirahira, uh, ka mutu, ka riro mā koutou, te nui ngā o ngā whakatau o enei nā, nō reira, uh, kia kaha, kia maia, kia manawa nui. Kā reau e tōru e ngā kōrero, hioi e tika ana kia tukumihi atu, kia tukumihi mai. Uh, nō reira, ka tahuri atu rā ki te reo pākea mo te wāpoto, kia pūrangi a hoai uh, tāku e kōrero nei, uh, kia tātou katoa. Uh, good afternoon everyone, my name is Corbin Te Aika and I've come along today on behalf of the upoko of Ngai Tua Huriri, uh, Dr. Tamaire Tau, uh, who offers his apologies, uh, but I also stand uh, on behalf of Te Kāhui Kahukura. Te Kāhui Kahukura represents the six Papatipu Runanga uh, who are in the Greater Christchurch region. Uh, we have Tua Huriri, centred at uh, Tua Hiwi. We have Ngāti Huikai uh, from Koko Rarata. We have Ngāti Whake, based over at Rāpaki. Uh, we have Ngai Te Rua Hiki Hiki from Taumutu. Ngāti Irakehu from Wairewa. Uh, Kamutu, uh, ko onuku hoki tēnei, uh, kei konaina. Uh, and we also have Onuku here as well uh, from over in uh, the Akaroa Harbour. Uh, through a relationship that we've developed over time with the City Council, through Te Hononga, uh, Kahui Kahukura uh, work in partnership with uh, the City Council to ensure that uh, our respective aspirations are achieved uh, and that we develop uh, co-management, co-governance uh, structures. 
I've been asked on behalf of Kahui Kahukura to mention the fact that uh, of utmost importance to us moving forward is the quality of our water. Uh, I mentioned in Te Reo that my ancestors would have come to this river uh, to catch tuna, freshwater crayfish, flounder, all sorts of things back in their time. Uh, and although we find tuna in the awa now, most of us probably wouldn't want to eat anything that came from the awa. Uh, so we've got a lot of work to do in terms of ensuring that uh, uh, we do have uh, a fresh uh, water supply uh, that is clean, drinkable uh, and ideally swimmable. Uh, well, utmost, of, of utmost importance is the fact that it's drinkable. Uh, another aspiration for Te, pa, uh, te Kawi Kahukura is that we move beyond this co-governance, co-management thing and we actually uh, establish what partnership and working together looks like. We need to move beyond these terms of co-governance and actually look at co-design, co-construction uh, moving forward. Uh, and lastly, uh, but by no means least, uh, Kahui Kahukura have asked, also asked me to mention the fact that Te Pātaka or Rākai Hotu, or Banks Peninsula, also falls uh, within uh, the Takiwa of uh, Christchurch City Council. And I think sometimes we have a tendency to forget about our whanaunga uh, out on the peninsula. And so on behalf of uh, Kahui Kahukura, I want to acknowledge uh, the new faces in the council, as well as the returning ones and also the new CE, Dawn, uh, no my haramai. I uh, also want to mention uh, or send a mihi out to the uh, whānau support that have come here today. Uh, thank you for allowing your partners, your parents, your siblings, however you are connected to these people, thank you for allowing them to uh, uh, take up these roles. It becomes quite a burden uh, for whānau and I quite often see many members of the council at uh, several different hui, sometimes multiple hui within the one day. And so, e mihi koa tūnei ki koutou, i runga e noi te koringa o enei te kainga. And lastly, just uh, a big mihi to the council staff that have gathered here. Uh, ultimately, uh, you guys will have a lot to do in terms of whatever decisions uh, te kāhui kahukura and the city council make in terms of delivery. So, uh, on behalf of all of the Papa Tipurunanga, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Manu tiria, manu tiria, manu eroia ki te o te rata tātou, re 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 katou mai te ruhi e tau e koi. Ere Rato ko hana tūra ki te pō ururi, ki te pō kere kere te pō tango tango, te rā no te pō whakaoti atu. Rato ki a rato, me ngā huhua mate, ngā mate huhua kai urunga i a tatau i tēnei wā, ka tira te rao ngā tiwhike. 
ko mātua ko minātura ko kia nei e to tātou nei rangatira anuk nā nā no i ki mai he mate anō kai te hara mai kia tanu mi nā ki tō rātou nā whare a whake hai te pō nei nā rā rā te kapo a pauri keru ngai a rātou i te nei wā me ngā mate huwa o ngā makihiwi o mātou nei kia kotou rā kia tangi hi atahi nai i a tātou a katira tātou ngā wai hotanga o rātou mā te nei te kā hui a morangi te koro matua me te tumu whakarai o kake nei ki runga i te pā o tupuari te nei anō ngā mihi ki te kā hui rangatira e kia nei ko te kā hui kahukura whakorongo nei mātou i ngā kōrero me ngā wawatā kotou i te nei wā mihi mai karanga mai ki a mātou mihi mai karanga mai ki runga i ngā ahuatanga o te wā nei te rā e te panonitanga o tō tātou nei ao te rā o te ao tō rangapu Ai rā, ko ngā piki me ngā heke, kai runga i a mātou i te nei wā, ko te wawata, ko te whetū, kia pūrangi aho nei, ko te whakapaipai te oranga o te wairua a papatu anuku, a rangi nui me ngā atua katao, a rā rā ko ngā wao katoa o te nei taki wā. He kōrua nō tō mātou nei koro matua ki au kōtou a te kāhui kaugura. Ai rā, roa nei te wā tātou e mahi tahi ana, ai rā, ka piki, ka piki, te mana o te hononga. Ko tahi o ngā nawe o ngā pō raruraru o tō tātou nei koro matua, e ono ngā tau kua pahure rā, i tāna tāinga mai ki hei koro matua, i tū noho rā a te upoko o mua, a re ki hi a tau, me tāna wero ki tō mātou nei koro matua i a wawā. Ko te rā, ko te ihutai. Ahakoa ngā piki o te hononga, ko tahi anā, te tara onga onga kai tōna pinoti ara rā ko te ihutai. Ko tōna wawata ki a tau wai a ihutai hai taua wahanga nei. Nā reira rā ko tōna inoi ki a koutou a whimai. A whimai tau timai ki a tau wai a te ihutai ki te ihutai. Te rā te tahi o ana kōrero ki a koutou. He kōrero anō ki te hononga. Ko a ahua panoni nei, ngā ahua tanga o te whakatakotoranga o te hononga, te papitipurunanga, kai wainganui a tatou. Ko tērā, mā wai anō tēnei hia hia ana ki te eke, hei tau toko i a tatou, kāti kātou. Nā reira, e oku rangatira, e oku paua, e oku taua, tērā anō e tahi o ngā kōrero, e hāngai pūwana i tō tatou nei koro matua, e hia hia nei, kia kōrero hia nei, e au, kia koutou i tēnei wā. Kātahi, te koro a tō tātou nei tumu whakarai ki a koutou, ai, kia tinana ai te wawata. Whaka tinana ai te wawata a koutou, a mātou, kia pua wai tō tātou nei taone, a o tautahi me te pātaka o rā, kai hautu. Ko tahi anō tātou, ko tahi kē te waka. Ko re nei mātou, ko re nei koutou i te wareware i a mātou. Ka re kore. Ko koutou ko tātou, ko tātou ko koutou i te nei wā. A rā, he au anō, he whare anō, he mana anō, kai wainganui au koutou i a tātou i te nei wā. He te kā hui kaukura, te nā koutou. Huri noa, huri noa, kia koutou mā, e tika ana nā kore o tō kuranga tira rā, a te aika kia koutou ngā whānau, mai i te iere nei, e ngā manu kōkiri kia koutou, te nā koutou. Tēnā koutou i a koutou e hāpai o, e hāpai nei te mana, e hiki ana te mana o ō rangatira, o tātou rangatira i tēnei wā, me mihi kātika. E te tira whakarai, ki te hoi, he kotahi anō te waka kia hoi nei e tātou. Tēnei mātou ngā ringa raupa, ko koutou rā ngā kai hautu, a rara tō tātou tūmu whakarai, e arahi nei i a tātou i tēnei wā, me mihi kātika kia koutou. Kia tātou katoa, te nā koutou, te whare, te nā koutou, te wai, te nā tātou katoa. He wai. Te 
ファカポノテファカポノメテラニマリエメテラニマリエタトウタトウエアカチータクヒアヒアヘワイアタノーケワイタヒアエマトエガリエメマイトマトネランガチラテコロマツワコタヒテワイアタエモヒオチアネイエタトカトアアラテナトナヒアヒアコレオテファカヘイアヤペラヤコトアクファイアケケエカチラレディーズンジェンメンアウジャスクイクリリピーワイシーセイヨーフィオグッドエヘスビーブリフノイツカザイカナシデオフテカフ So, on behalf of、um, Te Kahui Amorangi, which is what we call these wonderful people, I want to acknowledge Te Kahui Kahukura and the relationship that was cemented four years ago that we want to strengthen it as well. As much as you, as Ngaitahu, want to better our environment and better our people, we all know our councillors feel the same way. We want to strengthen the relationship that was set out. Four years ago, and want to take it further and deeper. I also acknowledge our Upoko Rangatira,、um, Tamare, but also his father, and how our, our Mia wishes to acknowledge him and the challenge he gave her. She wants to settle that challenge, which is Deihu Tai, in this period. And also from our CEO, Te Tumu Fakarai, we'll get it done. We will get it done. We will work together. To ensure that our city and Banks Peninsula, absolutely, are flourishing once again. So, on that note, I just said all that. It took a really long time. <laughs> I do apologise. But also, on behalf of, if they haven't done it yet, they should do it tonight. Dinner's on them. Ya kuro rangi tiro mau te nei wa, karaka te kato, karaka te maui, turo. Hawaiki, Rakamoroki. No Toraudo, Natomato Rodo, Kaurai, Tewi, Kaurai, Te Tangata, Kote Tongi Fakamutsunga no Ku, Kiatato Katoa, Na Pita Te Hori, Kiata Faki Tewi, Te Nako to Katoa, Kaheke.
high tissues. <laughs> Modi Ora. Uh, welcome to the mayor and councillors, to family, friends, guests, staff, and the media, to the inaugural Christchurch City Council meeting. This meeting is being live streamed and the recording will be available on the council website. The first part of the meeting is witnessing the declarations of the mayor and the councillors who will have the opportunity to speak. Once the declarations have been made, we will then continue with the formal business of the meeting as listed in your programme. At the conclusion of the meeting, everyone is welcome to join us for refreshments in the foyer outside. It is now my absolute privilege and pleasure to witness the declaration of the Mayor and to invite Leanne Dazil to make her declaration. I, Lynn Audrey Dalzell, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as Mayor of Christchurch City by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002 the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. In a manner, nai tuhuriri, and uh, and all of the papatipa runanga, um, and a reo e ro ranga tirama, tene te mihi kia koto ite ko papa te ra tena koto, tena koto, tena ka, tena koto kato. Uh, can I first of all acknowledge and thank our, um, our kai karanga for uh, bringing us into. Uh, this place, the Christchurch Town Hall, for the inaugural Christchurch City Council meeting uh, for this term, uh, 2019 to 2022. Uh, <laughs> hadn't thought that far ahead. Um, and uh, can I uh, just also say that I've uh, really truly valued the partnership that we have developed uh, through our Te Hono Nga Council, Papatipu Runanga um, Standing Committee, but also know that through that we have a really strong and enduring relationship with Te Runganga Onai Tahu and, uh, and the um, incredible uh, goodwill and uh, willingness to contribute to good decision making for our city uh, is a valuable asset uh, that has no price that you can place upon it. So, and I did ask um, Kaharoa uh, to make the, the comment about um, 
uh, Rick Toe, who, who put a challenge to me and to councillors back in 2013. And I think we're at a point where we can now look to find a way of acknowledging, um, in the principles of the, the treaty, the truth and reconciliation, the acknowledgement of what has occurred, uh, the genuine uh, regret and remorse for what has occurred, and then some way of uh, bringing matters uh, to a conclusion. So that's what I want to achieve um, in this term. I also want to build on that, the foundation uh, that is our treaty relationship uh, between um, mana whenua and uh, uh, um, uh, the people of, of, of the treaty, um, and the firm foundation of the bicultural nation that it represents to um, rebuild a truly multicultural society. Uh, and I look forward to the partnership that has been displayed over difficult times uh, and to building on that as we reach out to the wider community and embrace everyone in the future uh, of our great city. So thank you very much for the welcome today. I want to um, thank all those who participated in the local authority elections, whether as a candidate, a family member of a candidate, and I think it is important that we acknowledge those, uh, a member of a campaign team, or most importantly as a resident of Christchurch or Banks Peninsula who exercise their democratic right to vote. And I say most importantly because it is they, you, who have given each of us the mandate uh, to serve the city for the next three years. The headline of my campaign was let's keep the momentum going. As I said, our city is emerging from unprecedented challenges to become one of the most dynamic uh, cities in New Zealand. I stand by my statement that we have laid the foundation for a modern, sustainable and resilient 21st century city. And when I see the team around me and our new chief executive, um, I know that together we can build a legacy for generations to come, a place where everyone can truly thrive. Tomorrow, um, new council arrangements will be announced which will demonstrate my commitment I made to use my team building skills and experience to deliver on what I offered during the campaign. Momentum is what I promised and this is the team that will deliver. On a personal note, I want to thank my amazing husband who despite the challenges we're facing has stood by my side every step of the way. I could not serve the city I love without your support. Thank you. And to my small but <laughs> and to my small but perfectly formed campaign team, you have been amazing, and I am forever grateful for your willingness to apply your skills and experience uh, to running a campaign, making sure I've turned up in the right place at the right time and answered the questionnaires, the many questionnaires, and met the deadlines. My debt of gratitude is one that I can never repay. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, one and all. And to all of the city councillors, both returning and new, uh, thank you for offering to serve your city and I thank each and every one of you for your commitment that you have made uh, to work collaboratively in the best interests of the city and the peninsula as we take on the challenges we face, but equally take advantage of all of the opportunities we can see around us every single day. And thank you to your families for some of this um, for some of you, this experience will come as a complete shock, um, and uh, your support is important that we both acknowledge it and, and tell you that it is appreciated and valued by us all. And thank you to Dawn Baxendale for travelling around the world to take up the best role in local government in the world. And in thanking you, I acknowledge the whole staff of the council, from the mayor's office, who support uh, the councillors and me, all the way through the myriad of services that keep our city and the peninsula running and make it a great place to be. 
Thank you to everyone who has supported me. In my first term, we got the house in order, the basics, the insurance settled, things like that. In my second term, we laid the foundations. And now it is all about delivery. This is a great time to be leading the city, and I have a team that can both deliver uh, and will deliver on what's best for Christchurch and best for Banks Peninsula, the precious jewel that it is for all of us. And it wasn't Andrew that made me say that. <laughs> Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā da tato katoa. Could I call um, Councillor Jimmy Chen? I, Jimmy Chinong Chen, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and the judgment execute and perform in the best interest of the city of Christchurch, the powers, authorities, and the duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Quiet Church City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and the Meeting Act 1987, or any other act. No my highly mind, in a EV, in a mana, in a leo, kiva koto, tena koto, tena koto, tena tato, katoa, ko ali te manga, ko zansui te awa, ko taiwan te EV, ko taipei te hapu, ko chen te fano, ko jino inoa, lorela, tena koto, tena koto, tena tato, katoa, kiva koto, anu haseo, ni hao, ni ho, ni ho, Konnichiwa, Namaste, Plena Stalis, Talofa Lava, Bona, Ayo Bowen, Salam, Mabuhai, O Salam, Olekong, the Mayor, my fellow councillors, the new, the chief executive, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Jimmy Chen. I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere appreciation to the people of Hongbi and also to the people of Christchurch for their support and the vote for me as a fourth term city councillor. Christchurch is a city of opportunity for all. We are open to new ideas, new people, new ways of doing things. A city where anything is possible. As a first generation migrant background councillor, I have been re-elected as a first-term councillor, and I would like to point out that this is the greatest city and also this lovely community. I would like to take this opportunity also to express gratitude to my family. Without their patience and long-term support, it is difficult for me to serve the people and the community for such a long time. I also would like to thank the wider community and the individuals for their encouragement and support, including my family, friend, community leaders, media, as well as the campaign team and the supporters, particularly Kevin and the Taylor. Some of them are here today, so thank you so much for your support. As I promised before, I continue to humble myself, to engage with people, listen to them, 
and do my best to provide good services to the people of Hongbi and also to the people of Christchurch. And also I focus on the following the uh, key items for the next uh, three years. Monitor the implementation of the Christ Church multicultural strategy. Monitor implementation of the international relations, all those issues. Monitor the construction of the new Hongbi Library, Service Center, and the Leisure Center. So to it goes smoothly and can be open by October 2022. One team making it happen with integrity and passion. This is our mayor always to emphasize. So I would like to continue to work with the mayor and my fellow councillors, also with the new CE and all the staff closely for benefit to the people of Christchurch. Thank you. Tenakoto, Tenakoto, Tenatato, Katoa, Osalam, Oleko. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Could I invite Catherine Chu to come forward, please? I, Catherine Chu, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch, the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Kia ora koutou. Firstly, I'd like to recognise our Fano, our friends and our guests who are here with us this evening uh, as we embark on a ter new term of council. Uh, your love, your support makes what we do possible uh, and as we said earlier before, um, we understand that it often comes with great personal sacrifices, uh, so we're ever so grateful uh, to have you as partners in service to our city. Um, I am, of course, most grateful to our family, uh, especially my twin sister, Angie, who is here tonight. Um, I'm, I'm always so grateful to have Angie in my life. She's always so supportive, whether she agrees or disagrees with whatever I do. Um, I would like to congratulate our Mayor, Leanne Dalzell, um, on your third term. Um, I look forward to working with you in partnership and along with our other um, city councillors here tonight. Um, and to implement impactful policies that will uplift our residents and our communities. I would also like to acknowledge our predecessor, my predecessor uh, Vicky Buck, for her service to this community uh, and for her efforts in shaping um, our, our great city. Finally, I'd like to thank our residents of Rickerton uh, for supporting and trusting me with their vote. Um, I am humbled and honoured uh, to be here and to be able to serve as your Christchurch City Councillor. Our residents have placed their trust uh, and our hopes um, in us to do um, this work um, and to do it well um, with integrity and with courage. Um, they elected us because they want us to be able to work together and to challenge the status quo uh, and to adopt bold uh, and impactful policies. I am committed and dedicated more than ever to do just that uh, for our city, for our garden city, for Christchurch. Thank you. I'd like to call on Melanie Coker. I, Melanie Sue Alanda Coker, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council 
by virtue of the virtue of the Local Government Act 2002 and the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other Act. So I thought I would keep this short, as I was warned that everyone speaks for a very long time. <laughs> so, um, two years ago, probably, I wouldn't have thought um, I had a baby at the beginning of the year, and I wouldn't have thought I would have had a baby this year at the age of 40, and I don't think I would have thought that I would have been a counsellor in Spraden either. But of course, we can't predict the future, and, but we can have a hand in guiding it. So I just wanted to thank... Um, my partner, Michael, who's not here, um, he's at home looking after Adeline. Um, <laughs> she had a crying fit before we came, so she, we couldn't make it. But um, thank you very much. And I also wanted to thank um, Phil Clearwater. He was the councillor in Spraydon. He encouraged me to run. Um, he had to twist my arm, actually, um, <laughs> but told me that I could do it. Um, also to Carolyn Potter, who um, is our chair, well, was our chair of the community board, um, and my running mate, um, along with Callum Stewart Ward as well, and sprayed him. Um, I wanted to thank People's Choice Labour, of course, for selecting um, me to run and our team. I wanted to thank the woman of Spraydon, uh, because there's many, many women there, um, part of residence groups, um, part of um, community organisations, and just people that I know who have all been so supportive. And of course, um, lastly, I just want to thank all of the voters, the residents of Spraydon, who have um, put their faith in me to do my best, and I will. I'd like to call on Pauline Cotter. I, Pauline Francis Cotter, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Uh, kia ora koutou e te whānau, uh, no o te tahi a hou, ko, ka, uh, ko um, hato opini taku uh, kainga, ko Sunny, Lana, Millie, Aroha, taku tamariki, ko Pauline Kota a hou, katu a hou ki te mihi, kia koutou, nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Um, warm greetings and welcome everybody. Thank you for coming today to witness this auspicious occasion. And I'd particularly like to thank my family and friends and supporters during the campaign, uh, which is pretty tough, Yaka, we're having to reapply for your job every three years, and I think we're all glad that's over. Um, and thank you to my constituents uh, for your confidence that sees me back as a city councillor for another three years. Look, I know we still have challenges ahead, and in fact, we're here today in one of our past biggest challenges that face this city. This incredible building is actually a fine example of how we can rise to these challenges and achieve awesome results. So I'm really proud to be here today. And I can see the city of Christchurch taking shape, and I see the smiling faces on the increasing numbers of people 
who are coming in to discover the emerging spaces and the fun stuff that's happening. It's just incredible, and the environmental enhancements that we're seeing every day in our city, it's a better city, it's a fun city, it's a wonderful city. And our council table has seen a bit of a refresh. We have a new chief executive to energise us with her infectious vitality and passion. Thank you, Dawn. And I believe truly we have a great team who can and will work well together to deliver the best for Christchurch and the best for our communities. And I'm proud to be here for the next three years to work with you all to deliver that. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. koutou. I have great pleasure in calling upon James Daniels. I, James Takeda Daniels, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002 the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Tihei Mauri Ora. Tautoko, kua tai mai nei, uh, ki uh, te kahui kahukura, uh, tēnā koutou, uh, uh, ki, uh, ki a koutou uh, uh, ngā kaimahi uh, hurino uh, tōku uh, hoa uh, o te kahui amorangi uh, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou. Um, he wai at a pono, a poto, um, Vakaria mai, Tori peka kio. The English uh, translation is loosely, Oh Lord my God, <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. Look, I am absolutely thrilled, excited, and honoured to be standing here today. And what I, 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 what I basically said at the beginning was that uh, I was talking about my whakapapa, which I have to say uh, is centred on Te Pātaka o Rākai Hautu, which is what we used to call it before 1769, um, on Banks Peninsula, and that's where my heart lives, at Wairewa in particular, which is the we, we all know that as uh, Little River, that general area. That's where my heart lives, but my, my feet and the rest of me uh, lives here in the coastal part of Ōtautahi. So that's what I started off by talking about, and also uh, my whakapapa is Ngaitahu, and also through my mother, though, I'm Te Arawa and Tu Faretō. So I also then said, Greetings to all of uh, all the people gathered here today. Look, as I said, I'm I'm so excited about um, being in this position. I I realise it's a role and a great responsibility. I recognise that I'm representing um, the coastal ward in particular, but I'm responsible for the whole city, and I will wear that with pride. 
that responsibility around my shoulders for the next three years. So uh, to the, the people that voted for me, I, I appreciate that, obviously. I had a lovely email yesterday from, uh, from a man who's having an issue uh, in, in the ward, in the coastal ward, and it was quite a long email, and then about two-thirds of the way down it said, I didn't vote for you, so I don't expect you'll help me. <laughs> And so my, part of my response was, um, thank you very much for your candour, as in being honest, uh, but yes, I can help you, and uh, so we're, we're on our way with that. But look, I, as I say, I, I'll um, acknowledge that David East has uh, served our community very well over the last long time, and uh, I follow in his footsteps. I also follow in the footsteps of uh, Vicky Buck, uh, a former mayor and councillor. She and I went to school together because I'm so happy to be representing the Coastal Ward because the Daniels family lived at 89 Union Street, then we moved to 8 Gresham Terrace, just up the road a wee bit. I went and then I became a father at 29 Collingwood Street in the ward and, and 4 Ray Lane. I went to school through the uh, New Brighton schooling system with Vicky at, at the end there. Um, so I'm uh, that is me. That ward is me, and I'm so happy to be here today. Uh, I need to acknowledge, or want to acknowledge, that I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for my nominator, who's here with us today, Sir Gil Simpson. Thank you, Gil, for supporting me, and he put me through the ringer before he signed. Um, and then my seconder was a woman in her early 30s who's got three children, and she's uh, my niece by marriage, and... I wanted, I wanted her three kids in 20 years' time to say, our Uncle James did that. That's one of the reasons that I stood. So the other people that I want to acknowledge are the people that helped me in my campaign with the, the signage and uh, standing on roundabouts with me, um, doing door knocking with me. I appreciate them. There are too many to name specifically. But um, my campaign team was led by... Uh, my very good friend Tony Clark, who's with us today. Thank you, TC. I really appreciate that. And, and then I need to acknowledge as well uh, my patient and perfect third wife. <laughs> I'm very popular in that area. <laughs> Diane. Diane is here today, and it took me a long time to find her, and yet we grew up four streets away from each other, but eventually I found her uh, at the age of about 48. Anyway, look, thank you for, um, for your attendance here today and your support for everyone. I'm so looking forward to the next three years. Kia ora. I, I, I'm going to sit in the shade too, by the way, because it's too hot up the back, so I'm moving. Uh, can I call on Mike Davidson? I, Michael John Davidson, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interest of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002 the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Kina Mona, Kina Awa, Kina Waka, Kina Tata Tangata, Moriora Kitefari. Ite mana ota fenua, ota takewa ne, e naitahu tina koto. Ete rangatira e te aika, no te mana tina koe. Ete kahui amarangi, tato kui hapa tia ne, e te hapaio. Tina koto. Tina koto in a iwi, kua hui ne, ki tini, hui hui na, kanui te arwa, kanui te mahi. Um, I guess it's always going to be hard to follow James Daniels. <laughs> um, but I think one thing um, 
I'm the sixth councillor up here in alphabetical order, but I'm actually the first middle-aged white man. So I think that's a really good sign of progress. <laughs> Sorry. Al almost, almost middle-aged. <laughs> I would like to acknowledge and thank my family, especially my wife Fiona, um, and everyone else who has supported me and helped me, not just through this election campaign, but for the last three years and the next three years ahead. I would like to acknowledge and thank the people of Papua Nui Ward. Papua Nui itself has seen a lot of development over the last three years and has become a thriving retail hub. However, we cannot lose sight of the impact of these developments on local residents, especially with the increase of the traffic that comes from this. But I'm very pleased with the local representatives that have been elected to the Papua Nui Ward, and I know we will make a great team alongside the inners elected members on addressing these local issues together at the community board. I stood for council because I love this city and I want to make a difference. Through disaster, comes opportunity, and our opportunity was the chance to create a truly modern and sustainable city, built not just for the people of today, but for future generations too. A city designed for people, a city that enhances the environment instead of damaging it. I am proud of what we have achieved, but there is still work to do, and we must remember to bring the people of Christchurch with us. I look forward this term to focusing on improving our city's public transport, maintaining the momentum we currently have with our successful cycleways and increasing the resurfacing program of our local roads. Last year we declared a climate and ecological emergency and this term we must continue down the path we set of becoming carbon net neutral and also not just reduce our impact on the environment but improve our ecological biodiversity. Amongst other things, I look forward this term to seeing our drinking water once again becoming chlorine free the completion of our metro sports facility and significant progress on the multi-use arena and the beautiful Avenatakaro corridor. These are exciting times, but we must remember that our city needs to be inclusive and affordable, and it needs to be a city for everyone. We need to celebrate our achievements, but acknowledge and fix where we have gone wrong. We should be proud of our past, but accept and learn from what we thought was right but we now know is not. We stood for public office because we all want what is best for Christchurch, and what that looks like will differ from one elected member to another, but we must work as one because that is what best, is best for Christchurch. I would like to end with a whakatauki about being on a voyage and reaching our distant horizon. Hei waka ikanoa, e ta moana hoia ki tawhiti. Ki te I call on Anne Galloway. I, Anne Frances Galloway, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Tuia ki te rangi, tuia ki te whenua, tuia ki te nā kau a nā tangata. Kau te mea nui, kau te araha, tihe, Māori ora. Write it in the sky, write it in the land, write it in the hearts of the people. What is the greatest thing? It is love. Behold, there is life. 
and Amana Takiwa Namihinui. Uh, e te Koromatua, Elien. E te Kahui Amorangi na Mihinui. Kia tato katoa. Ko en tine. I read recently that the direction of, of an authentic life is always one that serves others. It may be in a serving profession, it may be parenting, entrepreneurship that lifts people out of poverty. It may be solitary or familial. It may be some kind of engagement in politics or social activism. It may be medicine, academia, business, entertainment, public service, law or any number of other fields. But in the end, living authentically is a question of interdependence, of committing oneself to the common good. It is, in its most basic reality, a question of a person coming to understand that one's good is intimately tied to the good of everyone else. An authentic life is one that embraces a responsibility towards the society of which one is a small part, including those who agree with you and especially those who do not. I am privileged to be standing alongside you all who are similarly committed to living an authentic life, serving the community and working for the common good. I'm particularly committed to working with you all towards strengthening this city's reputation as one where children and young people have opportunities and can thrive. Council decisions have a stronger impact on children than any other group in our community. The success of our children and our young people is critical to the current and future success of our city. Barack Obama said the future belongs to young people with an education and an imagination to create. I'd like to thank my family, my friends, for their support and encouragement. I'd think, like to thank the people of Huratini Hallsville for their, for their um, belief in me. I would not be standing here, ready to serve this great city for the next three years without your support. As Winston Churchill said, these are great days. Na mihi nui, kia koutou. I'd like to introduce James Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, James Tracy Goff, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002 the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Welcome everyone here. Thank you all for being here. You're all obviously here for a reason. It's most appreciated. Um, particular thanks to, to my family, wife Jasmine, children George and Annabelle. This is the first uh, inauguration that they've been at, but Jasmine's been to a few, and also of course my uh, mother and father, uh, extended family as well. I can hear George out the back there actually, so <laughs> he's taking part. Look, to be really honest with you, I think, let's make no mistake about it, Christchurch, Christchurch isn't where it needs to be right now. I wouldn't have run for re-election uh, if I was content. But I am delighted to be, uh, to be leading a new group within this council who I have the support of, but more importantly feel the same way as I do. 
We also have a lot of support across the community. So I want to thank uh, everyone across the community, even if you didn't, didn't vote for me or, or, or those that ran with me, for taking part in local democracy, uh, because that's what's truly important. Um, our support and mandate, however, cannot be sidelined or underestimated, and I'm very thankful for all that support that I've received. I see the next three years as a, as a defining and critical time for Christchurch. We need to apply a business lens to matters more than we have. It will need to be about working with communities, both residential and commercial, to achieve a set of shared outcomes. It's about ensuring that our planning rules actually align with the aspirations of our city. It's about ensuring that chlorine is removed permanently from the city's water supply. About actioning the Central City Action Plan. About addressing rates and the rates rises about driving efficiencies through the organisation, about stepping up the momentum and delivering fit-for-purpose anchor projects, and about holding the Crown, Council and ourselves to account. I intend to bring common sense and temper idealism with realism. And to be perfectly frank, I have enough friends. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to do a job. I'm passionate about it, deeply passionate about it, and I feel privileged uh, to be in this position, and I, and I take it very seriously, but I thank you all for your support, and I look forward to doing the best I can for the city that I love and call home. Uh, I plan on doing this collaboratively uh, and respectfully with colleagues, because I think at the end of the day, although we may disagree with how to get there, we all ultimately want the same thing. Kia ora. Thank you. Could I invite Yanni Johansson to come forward, please? I, Yanni Johansson, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch, the powers, authorities and duties vested in or opposed upon me uh, as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, Te Tiriti o Waitangi, or any other act. Uh, Araha ke te whenua, te topapa o te manaaki, kia atawhai ke te iwi. Uh, How Mount Monganui turned from paradise to prison, screamed a headline on the Stuff website in an article written by Max Christofferson a few months ago. Max made reference to Mount Monganui being destroyed by too much growth, too much greed, too much development, too many subdivisions, too many people and not enough land. He goes on to complain that large councils have increasingly seen themselves as quasi-corporates rather than community gatekeepers, and that the development and growth continues with little regard for the loss of lifestyle. Dick Smith, the founder of Dick Smith Electronics fame, gave these thoughts as he flew on a helicopter across the Atlantic in 1982. As part of that journey, seeing the world firsthand, flying over the towns, cities, farms and factories, he commented, before people talked of climate change, I said, I can't believe that we're not completely wrecking the world. Because as I flew most of the time, it was in smog or smoke, the amount of clearing that was going on, the huge cities, you could just see five billion people were damaging the earth tremendously. He also noted that an alternative to perpetual growth is an economic system that values quality, not quantity, and that it should be about quality of life rather than consumption. So I highlight these points to you as we consider the future of Christchurch. Post-earthquake, there's been much development for the sake of development, with huge greenfields across Greater Christchurch being rezoned for additional housing, commercial and industrial land. 
And while they might make our economy look good to some, the question of what is the cost, who pays and who benefits is seldom considered. Our urban development strategy in 2007-2008 consulted the Greater Christchurch area and it was clear that community feedback from the majority of people were against urban sprawl. They wanted a green belt around the edge of the city. They valued sustainable development with good urban design and a consolidation of development within our existing boundaries. Unfortunately, that view was ignored, resulting in a dispersed growth, which has led to many detrimental outcomes to the city. In my view, this term of council, we will be at a crossroads for us to consider the choices between growth for growth's sake, or in my view, cherishing our natural environment. We need to consider rebalancing our economic agency's priorities focused on simply growing the local population and increasing GDP. The future of my city, this term, needs to focus on five key things. Addressing the inequity that is growing globally, nationally and locally by investing in our communities and considering the affordability of what we do and who pays. A city that is made up of areas that retain their character with amenity and focus on good urban design. Uh, environmental and social measures put in place to measure, monitor and inform how much growth is necessary and at what cost to our quality of life while recognising the importance of climate change. Fixing our broken infrastructure, our housing and protecting our water sooner rather than later is essential. People cannot wait another three decades for their roads to be fixed and we cannot allow our water to be chlorinated and filled with nitrates. And finally, we have to consider, in my view, the social connectedness across our city and across our diverse communities. And as I stand here as councillor-elect for the Linwood Ward, I need to acknowledge on what happened on March 15th, a terror attack on us, on our Muslim community, on our city, and on our country. A heartbreaking experience, but also a heartwarming th event to see the community response. Christchurch is proud to be a peace city, a city that came together to deal with this terrible and horrific event. And our thoughts are with those who have and are suffering, of those who have borne the brunt of such brutality. We also acknowledge the support and sympathy from around the country and around the globe. There is no place for hate in our country or in our city or in our community. So I say we must unite to defy such hatred and hostility. We must embrace diversity and difference to celebrate and understand each other rather than to be afraid of one another. Araha ki te whenua, te tapapa o te manaki, ki atafai ki te iwi. That, translated, means love and respect to the land, which is the foundation of hospitality and care for the people. This is the Māori proverb that sits atop Council's multicultural strategy. So I just wanted to conclude by saying thank you to all those that have supported me on my journey to Labour, to People's Choice, to my family, my friends and all my supporters, and to the residents of the city uh, and the citizens of this community who have supported me to be elected as councillor for Linwood. It is my view that Aotearoa Christchurch needs to be an inclusive, multicultural, multilingual city that honours Te Tiriti te, te, te o Waitangi and values our environment, a city where all people belong. Thank you very much. Can I invite Aaron Kewan to come forward? Thank you. I, Aaron Kewan, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch, the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed uh, upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. That's one sentence. <laughs> Um, 
the mayor said the pies are getting cold, so make it quick. Kia ora. <laughs> I actually didn't say that at all. Um, <laughs> Sam McDonald. I, Sam Thomas MacDonald, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Excellent. Well, look, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for coming along and celebrating such a special occasion with us all. It's a huge privilege today to be sworn in as a Christchurch City Councillor, and I'm really looking forward to the next three years working on behalf of the city and the people of the Waimari Ward. Voters in Waimari sent me a really clear message uh, during this election. They want rate increases to fall, underperforming council assets to be reviewed, and a greater focus on putting a greater focus put on fixing our road and our footpaths. Uh, these will be my focus. People have asked me quite often, actually, why on earth I would uh, take on such a public role at my age, uh, when I could have continued to progress in the private sector successfully uh, with a lot less scrutiny or conflict. Uh, some days, I, to be honest, I did question that myself, uh, but the truth is I have always had a strong belief in public service, and to me there is no greater reward than effecting change on behalf of, on behalf of others. This term of council, we must leave politics at the door and focus on what is best for Christchurch. If we don't do that, we will risk our council stifling the future of our city. Look, as Leanne mentioned earlier, and everyone in this room will know, uh, elections can be a really gruelling process, and so it's important to have good people around you uh, while that's occurring. Uh, can I particularly thank my parents, uh, Boyd Becker, Roger Bridge, Liz Lovell, uh, the Avonhead Community Group, Professor Bakshi, uh, Robin and Hans Anderson, who have all played such an integral role in my campaign, and, and I wouldn't be here without any of them. I do want to make a special mention of Aaron Kewen and James Goff, uh, my board area councillors. I'm really fortunate to have such good council neighbours to learn from. Uh, lastly, it would be wrong not to mention my predecessor, predecessor Raf Manji. I think Raf's greatest trait is that he's a man of few words who just gets things done. I fully subscribe to the notion that it's the quality of what you say rather than the quantity of what you say uh, that matters and something I intend to, uh, to practice in this term of council. Thank you. I'd like to welcome Phil Major. Right. I, Philip Simon Major, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Christchurch City Council the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed on me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 and any other act. Thank you, Sam, for saying everything that I was going to say. Um, <laughs> I've only been in the, in the, in the, on the reservation, so to speak, for a week, and anyone that had said to me before that I, I'd, I'd come along that council people do nothing but um, eat uh, cucumber sandwiches and drink tea, apart from Dawn, who does drink a lot of tea, um, they, they're a stranger to the truth. There's a, there is one hell of a lot of work going on. There's a lot of passionate people there that are, that are doing a lot, and they're helping me one hell of a lot. Um, another couple of things I wanted to say, I wanted to thank the people of Burwood for having the confidence in me to um, vote me in, and also 
just say a word about Glenn Livingston, my uh, predecessor, and you know he, he did he did a good job, and, and hopefully I can take the ball and run with it. Um, to James, James and I are newbies. We're we're both in the east. We call the um, even though I'm in Burwood and James is in Coastal, we call everything on the eastern side of Martians Road ours. And together, in a way, you could call it lucky that we've got. Um, all of the red, well, majority, vast majority of the red zone in our two in our two wards, and we're going to work really hard to get that um, up and going. And putting political differences aside, with the left or the right or down the middle, I'd like to work with all these guys. And I think the the few that I've spoken to already, I see no problem as long as we're all pulling the rope in the same direction. Um, that we can't get something really good going for Christchurch in the next three years. Thank you very much. I'd like to welcome Jake McClellan Dowling. I, Jake Brocard McClellan Dowling, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the power, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002 the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Kia ora tēnā koutou katoa. Over the next three years, I'm looking forward to representing my community and serving the city as a whole. I start the term at a time when we, as a city, are becoming increasingly proud and confident as a community. At a time when it really feels like our CBD is stepping up, and of course, I have the great privilege to represent this in a city community, and that hopefully gets much bigger over the next three years. Doing that, will, doing that successfully will be a challenge, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to working with communities such as Linwood, an area that is in need of council leadership and of revitalisation. I wanted to take some time now to thank those who have helped me get here. Firstly, to my family, my mum Tracy, you must have done something to help me over the last 27 years, and when I work out what it is, I'll be sure to thank you for it. <laughs> My brother Taylor, thank you for all your intensive help, particularly over the final um, stretch of the campaign, and to my friends here, Sam and Tristan. Thanks to the community board team I campaigned with, Michelle Lomax and Sunita Gulton, uh, and to our team leader, Caitlin White. I look forward to working with Michelle and Sally Buck on community board. I also wanted to quickly acknowledge friends from across the country and even from Australia who um, helped me knock on doors and make calls. Ben, Dan, Lucy, Dasa, Lisi, Scott, Jim and Sarah. Um, a huge debt of thanks is owed to Keir Leslie, Chair of the People's Choice and a friend of mine. Thank you for your three years of support and encouragement. Your intellect is matched only by your encyclopedic knowledge of local government, which incidentally makes you great fun at parties. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge the five other new councillors elected alongside me, Sam, Catherine, James, Phil and Melanie. Um, although we come from across the political spectrum and have, wor and have different life experiences, I look forward to debating contentious issues with you and equally working collaboratively where there is common ground. I'm sure there will, that will be more often than not the case. Thank you. You're now my city councillor, no pressure. Um, Tim Scandrett. I, Timothy Peter Scandrett, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council 
by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Kinai Manga, Kinai Awa, Kinai Tatai Tanga Onai Waka, Tinakata Katua. Thank you all for being here today. I'd very much like to thank the constituents of Kashmir for entrusting in me their faith for another three years. I'd also like to thank those friends and volunteers who helped deliver pamphlets and helped me on my way again to here. I'd also and most importantly like to thank my family, my daughter Isabella, my son George and my first and only wife, <laughs> Carolyn. <laughs> Without whose support I certainly would not be here today. Whilst door knocking and talking to people, I believe there were three key threads that were given to me by all that I spoke to. One was the environment and the concerns of the environment, our water and rates. So those are the three things that I will be working on, especially over the next three years. I'm very much looking forward to working with our council staff again over the next three years and our many partners. I think we have outstanding people. We are incredibly lucky and fortunate to have the people that we have looking after our city. And I'm very excited to want to have you with us. No pressure, but I do think with your leadership to help our partners and our staff excel in achieving what they can do is crucial. So thank you for coming. Um, I also like to um, acknowledge and look forward to working with those colleagues that I have for a number of years around the table, and especially to our newbies, who I very much look forward to working with for our common goal to achieve the best we can for our city, but also our own communities, which make up the true thread of the city. Thank you. I'd like to invite Sarah Templeton, please. I, Sarah Louise Templeton, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Te tātai moka, te tātai tangata, he io, he fito, tuia, he korowai, he korowai aroha, he korowai whakapapa, te hei mauri ora. Ko te hononga, te kopapa rangatira mā tātou, te tuahiwi ki a whaeo, e aku nui, e aku rahi, koutou e whakapau, wera wera e kia e ke taumata, mā te huruhuru, ka reri te manu. Ka tū, whakaiti, Tēnei manu, ka aere atu, i taku mai oha kia koutou. Tēnā koutou. It is an enormous privilege to be standing here today and I'd like to start, like many others have, by thanking my friends, family and the wider community for their enormous support over the last three years on council and then the three before that on community board. 
especially my husband Callum, who is not able to be here today because he's away on school camp down in Geraldine at the moment with, with uh, Jack and David. But my daughter Caitlin is here taking photos. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> and my in-laws. Uh, my parents are also away. No one, you know, priorities, right? Um, and to my colleagues, uh, past and, and present, um, thank you. We all do this work together. No one can do it alone. And um, I'm really looking forward to working um, with all of you over the next three years. The council is often seen as other, something apart from the community, but nothing could be further from the truth. We are all, elected members and staff, a part of the community. We're friends and neighbours, and we're just helping to run the shared services that we all collectively fund. And it's when we work together that we achieve the most, rebuilding our city and our communities in a way that helps us face future challenges foremost among them, climate change. I'm really looking forward to this term. It's not going to be easy, and we're going to have some really tough conversations around the table and around the city. And those conversations have to be respectful. We will have to listen to understand each other, not simply to respond, and we have to come up with shared solutions. The Pakatoki from our strategic direction speaks of binding together the strands of each mat and joining them together with the seams of respect and reciprocity and I'd like to finish with that. Firia na whenu o na papa, honoa ki te maurua tauki o ki. Kia ora. And last, but certainly not least, um, Councillor Andrew Turner. I, Andrew David Turner, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the City of Christchurch the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Christchurch City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Kinga Monga, Kinga Waka, Kinga Karangatanga, Tenna Koto, Tenna Koto, Tenna Tato Katoa. I'm absolutely delighted to be here this afternoon. I'm excited, I'm thrilled, I'm honoured, I'm privileged, and I'm humbled to be entering this my third term as a councillor of the Christchurch City Council. When I first arrived in New Zealand in 1994, when I stepped off the plane in Christchurch that August evening, I knew no one here. Little did I think that I would make this wonderful city my home, my permanent home. Little did I think, and I'm reminded of this every time I draw back the curtains every morning, that I would have the privilege of living in one, one of the most beautiful parts of this city, Banks Peninsula. The fact that I stepped off the plane in August 94 knowing no one, and the fact that I'm now able to play a leadership role in this city proves that this is a city where anything can happen. I look forward to working collaboratively and respectfully with my council colleagues, with the mayor, with our new chief executive, with the staff of council. I know we can achieve a lot in this term. I know we need to achieve a lot in this term and I want to play, and I commit to playing the fullest and most positive part I can in achieving those things. I'd just like to take a moment, as others have, um, to thank a number of people who have um, got me to where I am today. Um, it would be wrong for me not to personally thank my partner, Glenn. Um, he has supported me not only through this recent election campaign, but through an, a number of years um, now as a leader in our communities and as a, an elected representative on the Christchurch City Council, living a public life 
um, certainly has its challenges and isn't easy. And those challenges are not only for those of us that choose to live a public life and are elected, but on our families, on our partners, on our children, on those closest to us. So I'd like to particularly thank Glenn, but I'd like to thank all of those who worked with me closely through the election campaign and who supported me through the, the last couple of terms of council and who encouraged me to run again for a third term. Um, without those people, and you know who you are, none of this would have um, been able to happen. Um, I'm absolutely privileged, absolutely honoured um, to be here today at the beginning of this, my third term of council. Um, I'd like to thank the people of Banks Peninsula um, for having the faith and their trust and confidence in me um, in electing me to represent them for a third term of council. Um, and in doing so, I also commit to being an effective decision maker for the whole of the city and in fact representing the city um, outward facing um, nationally and possibly internationally as well. We've got a great place here and people need to, um, need to know and, and understand that. So. Um, thank you very much to everybody that's um, come along today to support us. Um, I absolutely look forward to the next three years. Noreda, tenna koto, tenna koto, tenna tato katoa. Thank you, everyone. Could I now invite all councillors and the chief executive uh, to take a seat at the council table while we transact the business before us? Thank you. Kia ora. We now um, turn to item five on the council agenda, uh, having transacted the business um, to date. And the first item is the report of the electoral officer triennial elections, uh, 12th of October uh, 2019. This is just the technical report with the results of the election, and uh, it will uh, there will be a subsequent report. Um, into the uh, matters arising from the election. So uh, I would like to move that we uh, receive the information contained in the report. And do I have a seconder? Melanie Coker. Councillor? No, they're, they're, uh, it's a technical report. I'm not taking an amendment. Um, so I will put the motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Uh, the, second, the next item on the agenda, item six, is the um, explanation of the statutory uh, requirements. And we have the, um, oh sorry, yes, the, uh, the report of the electoral office. No, sorry, the explanation of statutory requirements. It says presenter. So, it's, it's just, we're just receiving the paper, right. So um, I will move, and do I have a seconder to receive the information, uh, Pauline, Councillor Pauline Cotter, uh, to receive the information contained in the report. Um, I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That is carried. Um, the uh, uh, next item on the agenda is item seven, the appointment um, election of the Deputy Mayor. Uh, I am announcing that I have exercised my power under Section 41.3 of the Local Government Act 2002 and appointed Andrew Turner as the Deputy Mayor. <laughs> Thank you. 
so we don't need to receive the item, do we? No. Uh, the um, the uh, uh, next item, or item eight, is the appointment of councillors to community boards. Uh, do I, well, I'm, I will move. Uh, do I have a seconder to receive the information contained in the report? Um, yep. Yeah, well, I'd already sort of signalled, but it, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everyone wants to second it, you know, sort of collect it, put it to acclamation. No. Um, Sarah Templeton uh, has seconded the motion. I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. And the uh, ninth item on the agenda is the date of the first ordinary meeting uh, of the council. Um, and uh, I will move that we receive the information contained in the report, seconded by <laughs> Councillor Jimmy Chen. I'll put that motion. Um, all those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Uh, thank you all very much for being here for the inaugural meeting. It's a great opportunity for us to hear from those who have been duly elected to serve the city uh, for this term. And uh, I welcome all of the people that are sitting around the table uh, to the table, and uh, especially, again, in the formality of the meeting, um, uh, welcome Dawn Baxendale to her leadership role uh, within the organisation. And again, I thank all of you on behalf of all councillors, uh, our guests, our friends, our supporters, our families. Uh, thank you all for being here and for all of the support uh, that each and every one of you have given us in the different roles that you play in our lives. Thank you to the, um, through the Chief Executive, to the staff of the Council uh, and for making this particular occasion uh, possible in this very, very special place to us all. So on that note, I will declare the meeting closed. <laughs>